Hey, Wednesday afternoon, uh, January the <coughs> whatever-ish, uh, 3rd, 4th, something like that. Yeah, okay, so we've got a massive centrally located corona hole, 491, coming our way. Despite what spaceweather.com says, <coughs> I guess um, Tony and his team must be a little busy. Hey, it happens. Who's paying, right? So, on top of that, we had uh, at about 17.20 this afternoon, UTC time. Uh, one of two very sizable... filaments let loose. Uh, that does appear to be earth directed. Um, we had a very large uh, photon influx from it. But <clears throat> as usual well, we're in a war footing so any relevant data you can expect to be total bullshit that you get off of the government websites. So, just giving you a heads up. Pay attention to your readings and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna say sometime Friday afternoon. Assuming everything isn't just more deception. <coughs> Uh, now, uh, whilst I got you all, uh, just a little follow-up on the last uh, main feature here, this uh, um, private radiation testing. Um, I don't know, I didn't seem to get much response, but from two local BCers on this. And um, I'm going to ask it again, I'll try being a little clearer. I'm trying to make an example to send out to others that do have uh, equipment and uh, skills and the time to uh, well make yourself a little um, well we'll use the term home business uh, if there was somebody in your area would you pay them 50 100 bucks whatever to come and do a a plain Jane reading of your property. Now that would assume, you know, I'm sure a hundred dollars would do a thorough job on a uh, on a half acre yard, um, assuming reasonable travel time. So ask yourselves, would you do that if uh, you knew somebody in your area was doing that? Um, and. Would you provide that service if you had the equipment and, and the time? Um, do you know anyone that would? I'm uh, just trying to get a feel of this. Uh, would you hire someone to do that in your own property? Ask people you know. Uh, those that are concerned about the Fukushima and those that are um, um, comfortably numb with cognitive dissidence. Fuka, what are you... What's that, some kind of hockey game I'm supposed to go to tomorrow? Yeah, and indicate their answers. The group A and the group B. How did they answer? Would, would they invest that money to know that their carrots were going to be radioactive? Uh, that they were going to feed their kids? Or the ground that their dog was munching grass on and, you know... Wait. <laughs> Help me here. Because, as has been the only thing I've ever done on this fuck YouTube, I'm trying to make viable examples and get people to know how to do that and to present them to everyone. Remember, it was supposed to be a network? Okay. I would greatly appreciate some more input. Ask. 
it'll be good training on how you're going to go out and begin to um, <clears throat> nudge everybody through their cognitive dissidence. You know, before it's kind of like uh, driven home by the doctor uh, dealing with it because them or one of their family members has caught the Fukushima bug. Hey, still having remarkable weather here. Um, Moe's just off her deathbed. Out for a little sun. And hopefully that'll be the last of this. Assuming it's a flu bug. Almost seems like a parvo. Although, she's got cancer, so does Bear. Gee, I wonder where that all came from all of a sudden, huh? So, I mean, we've all been exposed. And that's not my fucking opinion, okay? That's what my fucking equipment tells me. So, get off your fucking cognitive dissonance asses and fucking do something. Please. You're fucking wishful thinking and you're putting your hands together is gonna get you fucking dead. It's too painful to fucking watch, okay? So that's why I'm giving you all fucking shit. Hey, have a good day. Stop acting like fucking retarded children running over the fucking cliff chasing lemmings.